Hey guys, you boy Core Pairs, and welcome back to my Liverpool Corma. Where last time I left off, I beat one game against Preston in the Capital One Cup, and I beat eight Hull in the league, scoring a combined total of nine goals. Goals, and as you can see, I flipped up because, as you can see, I was meant to start this episode with a game against Inter Milan in the Champions League. But that didn't happen because as I was recording and I just finished being in Inter Milan 1 0, who will go from Luciano, or the striker on my uh, my second team, I mean, if, if you know the player I'm talking about. And I was just about to play the Southampton game when I noticed the an error come up on my Elgato saying hmm, which disappeared after like two seconds so I didn't even get a chance to read what it said. It it but it stopped but the capture thing, you know, if you have an Elgato you'll know. You have like little red capture button that's pretty much like the record button on a camera and it records your gameplay. He, that wasn't bright red anymore. And I was like, did I just get cut off by my Elgato? And it was like, it did. It cut me off. It was really weird. And then um, the striker, there he is. There's, as you see him there at the top. This is uh, Luciano. Just in case you didn't know, his first name is Luciano. I can't pronounce his surname. That's why I'm calling him by his first name. <laughs> I know it says he's a center forward, but so what? <laughs> this is the uh, the exact team that won the match against um, Inter Milan. Anyway, uh, let's get into the game against Southampton. Hopefully, I won't have any more problems. Uh, hopefully, I'll play the right team. <laughs> I was almost playing the freaking um, cup team. Uh, also, in the last steps, or in the game against Hull, well, Mario Gotze made his uh, made his return after a long injury. This will be his first start against Southampton today. Here, as you can see, he is in the lineup right next to his good buddy Marco Dois. Is which is uh, the only change from la from the team that be Hull, Hull, which is good. You know. That's the only time you really want to make his changes when you're when when I have much. Better player, which, which, which I mean, is no offense to um, to um, Callahan, but uh, Gotze is ninety rated. How could he not be better? And Gotze has a World Cup winner's medal. Oh, oh. Nah, Italy are good, but I don't think they're gonna win the World Cup uh, anytime soon. I mean, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't, it wouldn't be shocking to see Italy win. I mean, they're a good country. They've won the World Cup four times. It's, it's the second most World Cups. In fact, uh, Germany's was actually their fourth as well. So they're, they're on that train as well. I'm right behind uh, five-time winners Brazil. But, um terms of their fifth title I don't think it's going to come at the next World Cup I think if any th team if if uh, I think Germany have a good chance of winning the next World Cup because they won this one although we'll see how they get on at the Euros in in France in 2016 hmm. but uh Some people 
picked them as dark horses for the for the 2014 World Cup. I think I think uh, Belgium will have to be considered one of the favorites. Yeah, you heard me right. One of the favorites at the uh, 2018 World Cup when you consider or they all have players like Hazard, or Compen, he, he Origi, he, he the some the younger players will have more, the younger players who shined at this at the tw- at last year's World Cup will be more experienced and will be able to prove themselves worthy of proving going. That much further, and perhaps even winning the competition, and you never know. Well, Belgium, I def, I think it's only a matter of time with the amount of talent Belgium have. It's only a matter of time before they do win a World Cup. It's it, it's a it's a matter of time. So it's it's unavoidable. Well, they are gonna win a World Cup eventually. I mean, right now they're second in the. Competition. We'll see how they get on at the Euros. They they could win the Euros. Just by all means. I mean. They're definitely going to be one of the favorites for the Euros. Especially with the ma And. Neen Hazard. Ooh. But uh. Holland will be hard to get past when they have Klassian. And, and as you just saw. Yes, Philippe. Score. Cardi. Yes. Tucked it in. Just. Freaking. Cardi must be a fan of Happy Gilmore. He just tapped it in. <laughs> Mia's like. Oh. I didn't do it. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. He's just holding his hands up like I, I surrender. <laughs> and um what I find weird is you guys know uh in in real life Liverpool have signed last summer signed a lot of Southampton players, Ricky Lambert, Amlana, and Dejan Lovren. In this career mode, Southampton have done the opposite. They have signed a lot of my players. There's Flanagan, Ramsey, Correa. I know they even have Sacco, who they didn't buy directly from me, but they um they must have bought from Zenit, because I know that's where he was. Because before this career mode started, it, it back in uh in September I released Sacco because he's big pile of shit. I don't mean that as a racial thing. I just mean he's a terrible player. Or, or, and also Diego Costa. I almost completely forgot about Diego Costa. I mean he only played for me for a season and wasn't that good, but. Realistically, I, I bought him to partner for Daniel Sturridge. He outshined sh- shine Daniel Sturridge. And then they both got outshined by the uh, little Argentinian by the name of Marco Icardi. And uh, the rest, as they say, is history. Yeah, I guess. Just like the first half is now history because it is halftime. It's just it's just something I know. It's, it's it's a bit weird, and uh, Liverpool actually linked with uh, Southampton's right back uh, Nathaniel Klein, in in real life. I, I hope we don't sign him. I mean, Klein is a good player. He is a good player. There is no doubt about that. But it's it's just I don't trust Liverpool signing players from mm, mm, Southampton because. 
Lovren's useless, Lalana's injury prone, and Lambert, well, Lambert, he played decent enough, but he didn't get enough game time. He could have probably been the only good thing we made in last summer if he had gotten more game time because he's he played two games in a row he scored both those games and it was it's unbelievable I mean he was dropped because Sturridge came back from his injury and you know I understand as a Liverpool fan we, we want Daniel Sturridge to be a front firing on all cylinders but he was still kind of hurt he didn't he, I think he should have been given a bit more time to rest and maybe he wouldn't have gotten hurt again and we wouldn't have been in the situation at the end of the season you know, or at the end the fr- January where we freaking crumpled into dust you know, we lost to I, we lost to Arsenal well, and then our season was over as soon as those losses happened and our season was over we get re- different results in the those matches is tough for any we would have had a different end to the season and 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 Brendan Rodgers would never have even the 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 hashtag Rodgers out would never even have existed well it still would exist because some people don't like the how the players he signed i.e. he Lovren Sacco oh Sacco Sacco, Lovren, Sacco, Minule, Sacco, Minule, uh, Lalana, Sacco, Lovren. I think I'm getting into your head. I don't like our centre backs, and um, I I love freaking Brendan Rodgers. Is uh, I his uh thought process. Hmm. Fans don't trust our um, current centre backs. Let's sign an 18-year-old centre back from League One Charlton. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's let's do that. That's a thing. And he's pre- he's built up as the next Rio Ferdinand. So if that's the truth, he's going to be. He has sold player in the defense of one team in for a long, long time after leaving a team he was at during his youth. Oof. 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 Eventually, his younger brother will get racially abused by John Terry, who will still be playing by then, of course, because John Terry can't let the pass go. And he'll eventually go back to that team to retire. Sound about right? Sound about right? That sounds about right for Rio Ferdinand. While he didn't actually go back to West Ham more leads to retire, he went to freaking... He went to um, QPR. Uh, I, f- I still... F- like he went to a team... To retire. Uh, and that's exactly what he did. You gotta wonder if QPR had stayed up, would Rio Ferdinand have still retired? The question may never be answered. Unless someone asks Rio Ferdinand, then he may answer it. What ball to Icardi? Is he onside? Yes, the flag has stood down and Gutsy is going to get a goal. His second in two games. He is on point. Hmm. Yes, it's a 
That's where you cross, but they all count. I mean, if Sweat, he goes to count. KSI would not be famous, and Roma would be pretty screwed. <sighs> Scuffet, why are you wearing a normal jersey? It was weird. Why was my sub goalkeeper wearing a normal jersey? Hmm. And there we go, full time has come. Hmm. Three points, and that means I am. Mm, to that, I am mm, top of the table because Southampton were two points ahead of me because of that stupid draw against West Brom. Um, and I suffered two videos. Oh, oh, oh! But luckily, I have fixed that. Now, um, I think I actually had the right team selected. Fancy that. Anyway, let's jump straight into the yeah, huh? the game against Wolves. Why not? It doesn't really matter. Or what they wear. Or this is... Mm, well, a beep. This is... F football. Oh. Oh. It's a beautiful game. Is this some sort of glitch? Why is it showing an outfield player in the gloves and in the goalkeeper's jersey if the goalkeeper was an outfielder? Look at that. He's wearing the number one. Hmm. I guarantee that guy that's chasing IR all over the place. He's like like Am Johnson chases kids. Ooh! <laughs> Freaking, uh... Is not the goalkeeper of Wolves. Guarantee it. Alright, come on. Give me the ball. Thank you very much. I'll go straight back. Share can't win tackle. But it's okay. They gave it straight back. And I gave it straight back. Possession is non-existent. Oh, I got a foul there. It's okay. Come on. Yes. Uh, the blue in. Whip it in. Pen. Speaking of POs, is that player, is that player's name Savile? Hang on a second. See what happens. See his name. That guy's name when they pass it back to him here in a second. Saville. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, that's not good. Next thing you'll know. Oh, we frick. And, uh, we'll see our guy's name. Can't remember. Yeah. Yes! I, I put the ball in the net. I'm <laughs> Nicolas Ayala, who, if I remember correctly, was playing pretty poor in the game against Preston, and I also said he would never play for this team again, so. 
I completely forgot about that. I just remember that there where he scored, so... I guess he redeemed himself. That's that's kind of weird that they have a player named Savile. It would be even worse as if his first name was Jimmy. Oh god, let's hope it's not. Lock up your kids. <laughs> Go Nigrio. Oh, he won a free kick. It's okay. Thank you very much. Kara. Pull in. Oh my. Pull in. What the hell, man? I like how they show the attempt to keep us saved and not the one he sco Ayala scored. Oh my god, I meant to pass that to Ayala. What the hell did you pass it out of play for? Alright, uh, that could have been 2-0. That's... It's annoying. Alright. What a header. What a header. Ayala is through. Ayala is through. Ayala is through. Pen! Yes! Penalty! The referee points to the spot. Is he going to take out the card? No. He is not. But at least I got the penalty. Sturman. Hmm. Is the uh, guilty party who fouled Uldayala. Number 24 has been judged with it. Fabian Scher and he puts it away the centre back with the best penalty he's on FIFA no joke he has 80 something penalties he's just really really weird for a centre back to have such good penalties and he puts them away he's like a boss and he doubles my lead so uh Thank you, Fabian. That'll do. That'll do. And straight away, I've made three nil. Or through a crap of a f I'm forgetting his name. Uh, no, it starts with a P. Paneria. 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 I think. I, pro I probably said that wrong. It's okay. He's not real, so he won't. He doesn't need to forgive me. <laughs> Oops. Thing. They call a foul on that. Corner? I mean throw. What did I say? Corner. And there's the whistle for half time. I completely he, he forgot to look at the other scores at half time. Check on the other Premier League teams. But you guys can probably pause the video if you didn't see it or wait till full time there's that as well 
Not foul. Oh, it's uh, not sure why Nairo is getting pretty pissed off when it was Core who's fouled. Pedro, oh, he, he may say he has a one free kick. It doesn't feel like he has a one free kick. Heck. That was probably uh something for a, a right footer or a left footer. Probably shouldn't be taking that. Abrado Enrique Run Keep the flight down, keep the flight down, keep the flight down Yes And I have a score There's There's and makes it 4-0 I think the game is well and truly won And I am through To yet another Her calling cup Well whatever round I'm going into I'm sorry, I've just lost pretty much all interest in this competition. Because, uh, I've won it. And I've won it again. 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 So bored. I just wish one of the teams would freaking put up a challenge. Which, boys. It's so st stupid how they can't put up a freaking challenge. It's not that difficult. Sometimes I get a shock of a bit of a challenge. When I get a bit of a ch And then I get a bit of a challenge. Hmm? But I would welcome it. Oh, that's uh, that's some way to score your first goal. Nice boots. That's all on the keeper, though. Oh, not taking any thing away from Alvarado's shot. I think that's how you say his name. But, uh, how does the keeper not get at that? He's completely at fault there. Yes, well done. And friend. And, and. First. It's goal since I signed you. Ooh. Ooh. And it was completely the keeper's fault. But, like, you know, you can't take it away from him. I mean, you know, it's a big moment to score your first goal win. Mm. Especially when you can. Or I keep track of all that stuff. Literally, I keep track of it. Ayala, Pera. I go. Ooh. Oh, he's offside anyway. So it didn't matter.
it's uh, almost full time as well. Yes, one header. Almost lost the ball, but kept it, and I'm offside, so it didn't matter. Ideally, the referee's gonna blow a whistle as soon as they kick the ball. Come on, come on ref, there's nothing left for this game to have, there we go, a comfortable 5-0 oh, win, mm. 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 very well done, mm. we cruise through to the next round, looks like Arsenal won 4-1 being Warsaw, Man City I think also won, hmm, uh, completely missed it. It's my bad. Uh, next episode, I will have a game against Nottingham Forest. But I'm going to end off with a squad report because I know people well, well, might want to see how the team is getting on. First, just let me project this. International manager's job. I don't want to manage internationally. He no offense to any country that wants me to manage them. I'm sure we would work well together, but I'm not interested. It, anyway, let's see what we have here. Now, I know the fact that it says Cotois is loan listed. That's because. Since the very first season, I've had Kotoa since the very first game of the very first season, and he has not grown from 86. So he is one of these players who just, no matter what, does not go up. I've had him, him now, for this is the sixth season, and he's not gone up. But I heard... I uh, I I learned a little trick from um, a fellow YouTuber called May. You guys know Matt HD Game. I mean, not a Matt HD Game. I'm thinking of the wrong Matt. Uh, MGH Matt. Um, the Matt who does all career modes. Right now, he's doing a career mode with Bournemouth. Um, he I found out through him of a little technique where you can loan a player out and. Bring him back the very next day, he, he, and they'll start to grow away. I was gonna do that with Cotois, but I should have done it earlier when he would have been way easier to loan out. Considering that he's 86 and he's 27 years old, very unlikely I'm gonna be able to loan him out and get him back the very next day. He, I'll try in January, but for now, he, just ignore it. But, uh, should be looking at the attributes. So. Next we have uh, Mattia De Schilo. Very good player. Er, to think. He was 76 rated. When I took him in. in from a C Milan. 76. He's gone up by. He's gone up to an 84. And he's still g growing because you can see there in his technical, oh, his tack, his both his standing and sliding tackle have both gone up by one, and his volley and his curve has gone up by one. Sergio Ramos, he's probably going to more than likely decrease before he increases his again, but of course he is such a great player, key member of my defense, and Sebastian. After I replaced Thiago Silva, him, Matt Hummels, who's gone up despite he he's unhappy for some reason. Oh wait, that's because I didn't play him recently, and he got pretty mad about that. He'll get over it. He's up to a ninety rate now. One of few players, uh, Alaba, who has grown. He was a 
two, I want to say, A2, when this, when FIFA came out, I think that's, that was his rating, he was A, A2 or A3, now he is an A6 rated player for me, so he's the same rating as Gautuala, with Atkins, and, 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 he had 89. Benjamin Cole with three.